Back in 2009, Aprilia released a superbike that kind of rocked the world. It was this, the RSV4, featured a 65 degree V4, had tons of features that were really different in the class, and it was often seen as the exotic option to your R1s and your ZX10s. Today we're testing out the brand new iteration of the RSV4 here at Laguna Seca, and we're going to see if it's still the fun, exotic, and interesting superbike of the class. Let's find out today. Alrighty everyone, so this is Aprilia's 2021 RSV4 Superbike. This thing's really special for a lot of reasons. This bike's actually gone through a lot of major updates and changes for the 2021 model year. As you can see here, the big news is there's a brand new swing arm in this machine. It's actually made of three different parts. It's got much more stiffness and it's even lighter as well, which is super cool. The other big change on this bike is the displacement has been bumped up. This engine's gone from a 1077 to a 1099cc V4. It's still making the same peak power at 217 horsepower due to Euro 5 regulations, but the torque across the range has been bumped up as well. I don't think there's going to be any problem in terms of horsepower with the RSV4 over here. You can now get it in the simple RSV4 base trim, which is $19,000, which is, I think, an absolute steal for the type of bike you're getting for the money. And then this factory version over here is gonna run you $25,999, about $26,000 for this one here. So definitely a premium offering for this one with the electronic suspension and some of the other cool features as well. This bike's also been updated with a brand new five inch TFT, some updated user interfaces as well. And overall, Aprilia's just done a great job here of keeping this in line and keeping it super competitive in the superbike category. But the big thing we wanna find out today is, is this thing any fun to ride on track? Aprilia says that it's much more forgiving, much easier to ride, and a lot more fun to ride as well. So we're gonna get out here at Laguna Seca and see how it goes. Alrighty folks, heading out with the uh, Aprilia RSV4, the new one, 2021. This is the standard one. I'm here at Laguna Seca. Uh, this is the $19,000 standard RSV4. Conventional forks, which I kind of like more than electronic suspension. Now, conditions here at Laguna Seca are kind of not great, honestly. It's like kind of dank and cold and wet and weird been like this all day I've done a couple sessions out and I'm waiting for it to improve and it doesn't really seem to want to improve so we're just gonna work with what we have and uh, I have this is my first time ever at this circuit so <laughs> please do not judge my riding abilities so let's have some fun shall we I've always really liked Aprilia's man I, this is the ones I've ridden and tried out they're really enjoyable motorcycles to just hustle around this one makes a crazy amount of horsepower. I mean, the drive you get out of corners is just unreal, man. This thing is absolutely rapid. And like I said, guys, we're literally coasting around Laguna. We'll try to open it up a little bit more. Plastic corkscrew corner that I am still very much afraid of. <laughs> I am from Texas. So I'm not used to big elevation changes like this. This is still such an easy bike to ride for what it is. It's kind of ridiculous that they make it this easy to ride. It shouldn't be. <laughs> it should be a little difficult in my opinion. Woo. Like I said, I, I really don't know my way around the racetrack very well. Um, still figuring it out, figuring out the RSV4 too, you know. A lot of people are asking me if I'm going to notice the changes on this bike from the other one or compared to the Ducati and I really tell you guys this all the time, like I do club racing with my 675, but I really feel like to extract meaningful performance from a leader bike, you got to be a ridiculous rider. Things are just animals, absolute animals. This one, especially 217 horsepower from this thing. Stock exhaust sounds awesome on this bike, man. I think I'm not making Harry Heading proud. He was DMing me on Instagram 
and he was giving me some advice about Laguna Seca. And he said, just keep it pinned. Right the rear brake over the crest. And I'm like, Aaron, I'm not good enough. I'm not like you, bro. <laughs> I'm not the same kind of rider, dude. That's a checkered flag. Let's go ahead and pit out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, this bike's insane. Absolutely crazy. It's crazy that they charge 19 grand for it. You, you would not believe how fast this bike is. It is out of control. All right, ladies and gentlemen, heading out. It's now literally misty and rainy, so <laughs> I don't really know what I'm going to be able to do on this factory version of the Aprilia RSV. Uh, probably not a whole lot. And I got to tell you, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty experienced track day guy. You guys know I, I club raced my 675. I endurance raced a, a 400. And, um, you know, I, I really can't feel much of a difference for this electronic suspension and all this stuff. This feels very similar to the base model bike to me. I'm trying to get a good feel for this bike. Here goes Adam Wahid. He's ripping a little harder than I am. He's on a hot lap right now. I just pit out. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I can't really feel a difference for this electronic suspension versus the traditional one, to be honest. I'm probably not good enough of a rider to really feel the difference. You gotta be a 99th percentile leader bike racer and kind of guy, club racer, to really even feel a big difference. And I just can't really tell the difference, especially in conditions like this, where I'm getting blasted around with the cold and the wet um, I'm super precariously riding this thing. Uh, I really cannot get a good sense for what the conditions of the track are right now. So you guys will tell I'm being very, very ginger with the bike. Just feeling it out. And yeah, I mean, it. I, I'd have to really split hairs to tell you that I feel a difference between this bike and the other bike. And for seven grand more, I'm just like, is it really worth it, you know? Gosh, it's, it's like genuinely cold. I think I'm just gonna pit out. This isn't even really worth it, honestly. Yeah, I, I, I can't convey how sketchy it is right now. We're, we're literally talking, you know, like uh, literally terrible conditions. But uh, yeah, I guess the only thing I can say about the electronic suspension is I can't really feel a difference. I will say for some reason, with the electronic suspension, it shimmies and squirms a lot more than the traditional suspension. Honestly, God, the corkscrew's a crazy f***ing corner. Completely blew that. I don't know if it's worth the price they're asking for it. I mean, probably it's super top shelf stuff, but I don't know, I don't really think it's, it's 26 grand for some fancy wires sticking out of your suspension that you're never gonna feel anyway, so. What's the point, you know? Alrighty, everybody, wrapping the day up here with the RSV4, the new Aprilia Superbike. Well, we say new, but it's really just updated so much that it might as well be a new motorcycle. And is it still exotic? Is it still incredible? Is it still that kind of cool Italian flavor and kind of panache we've come to expect from Aprilia? And I would say, yeah, they've basically made this motorcycle better in every way that I can think of. Um, the factory version here, it's still a big flex of a motorcycle you look down, you see the electronic Olin suspension, the black triple tree, the uh, anodized 1100 factory logo just kind of impressed onto there, the huge TFT display. This is every bit as cool and unique as your BMW S1000s, all your top end leader bikes from Ducati, all those. This motorcycle really makes a strong case for itself. Now, on track, I did feel personally that the factory was a bit overkill. I didn't really notice that it was any better or different than the standard version. So in my opinion, I should probably skip the seven grand extra that they're asking for this and just get the standard $19,000 Aprilia RSV4 because that is a ton of bike for the money. That's under $20,000 for 217 horsepower, all the electronics, all the TFT, all the fancy Farkles. And I think that that's just the bike to get. Um, I had a lot of fun riding this motorcycle on track, but I think as a track toy, this makes it pretty difficult to ride. Um, 
This is a very, very, very powerful motorcycle that unless you are a 99th percentile rider, a leader bike, club racer kind of guy, you're not going to be able to extract any meaningful performance. And unlike the R1 that I rode last year around Eagles Canyon Raceway, we did it as a giveaway bike, it doesn't really flatter you as much as those motorcycles either. It actually kind of just keeps poking at you and almost laughing at you that you can't extract any meaningful performance out of it. Now, conditions today here at Laguna Seca were not exactly perfect. We were looking at about 52 degrees most of the day. It was misty, cold, wet. The sun came out for 30 minutes and gave us a little tease and then it went away again. So I didn't really feel like I got a great chance to really test this machine, but in the short laps that I did in the short time that I got with it on track, it did feel like massive overkill. But if you're in the market for a superbike and you want something that's exotic and interesting, you could do a whole lot worse than the RSV4. This thing is really cool and it does make one of the most fantastic noises in all of motorcycling. I mean, this stock exhaust, we were listening to these bikes rip here at the front straight of Laguna Seca and they just sound awesome. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Thanks again to Aprilia for inviting us out to Laguna Seca and we'll catch you in the next one. Keep watching Yammy Noob. 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 Keep watching Yammy Noob.